Hello everybody, Anna Gascoz here with some sketching creations, and today we're back on the Pool 2 workshop, where we're after that. <laughs> Stop your copyright music. Uh, oh yeah. We're playing Step by Murphy. Get some random wild animals. And, uh, and we're back to regular Pool 2 music. Now I'm going to be honest with you here. I did a dumb thing again. I accidentally recorded this episode with my with with my mic muted. I accidentally had my mic muted, so I recorded the entire episode and the mic was muted. So it's gonna take a bit. It's like a bit of value. I just actually re-record it. So here we are in this really little concrete room. Take this lift here. I can't believe I did that again. I forgot to turn on the mic. That's stupid. I'm gonna stop the audio right there again because it's starting to play copyrighted, possibly copyrighted music. And we're gonna go out here. And now we're in the orange zone. Which, as well, there's, there, are no, there are no animals in here. Maybe they're outside these walls here and we just can't see them. We just got a desaturated button right here. I'm pressing it, where's the polarity of the funnel? It's not affected it by its fact it's desaturated. Over here we have a tropical looking fizzler. The sun button right here, which temporarily disables the fizzler. Got a goop hit the button right here. Spawns a cube. And I failed that to do that puzzle. Spawns a cube out of that tube, but you can also see the cube spawn. Oh apparently apparently mobile portals are enabled. That's interesting. Apparently mobile pools are enabled on this map. Okay. So you do have to get this cube. It's got these thick, chunky indicator lines. I picture it as like wooden planks that were painted blue. Okay, so now we need to get over here. See these weird little things sticking out of this glass, glass right here. Well, we'll see what it is in a second. But first, we need to reverse the polarity of the funnel. Screw screwed something up for a second. Anyway, so this little stopper right here try to catch you. That's what we have. This though is our pool surface, which as I said last time it reminds me a little bit of a pool surface I had in my Mac Cuban funnel. It's the pool portal surface in the corner. You use with the funnel. Anyways, you need to use this surface here again. Get this cube over here. I'm assuming it's death water down there. It's very reflective. Do that. I lose my portals. I didn't lose my portals last time. I guess that and opens the exit. It's probably death water there. Let me get to a place where there's less reflections. Yeah. Kind of looks, kind of looks like water made out of sand. So, their reflection is a different color. That's weird. I'm gonna stop over here. It's a weird little. It's like a petty editor panel thing. Yeah, it's a lift. And then the map just ends. It's an interesting looking map. Murphy always makes a visually distinctive maps. It's something that they're certainly good at. Anyways, after that, take a look at one more map then. And we spawn right in the room to have later being as our entrance module. Anyways, I got quite stuck in this one. Cause this, this map pulls some weird solution stuff. At least one or two moves are weird that I wouldn't have guessed myself. This guy, this room here, this f five rooms here, except for we just pulled a one fizzers, which look pretty nice. So over here is a single laser and a single cube. This room is kind of over large for what sir for the purpose of ultimately ends up serving in this map. I'm just gonna point this uh, point this there. So, like this is this happened like like at least five minutes ago. So I have to remember how to do, to do this. I had to end up this one stopped me, so I ended up having to look look up a, the walkthrough. There is a walkthrough in the workshop post for this one. You know, there, so that will be marked in the description. That's on the failure to puzzle counter. What was I, what I was supposed to do here? Because that node right there will turn off the fizzler walking off this room. 
you need to do a weird thing. Okay, so right, you point the laser cube so it goes directly into that, like that. So it does that, I guess, so that's fairly straightforward, but then, this next part is what stumped me initially. Come on now. Yeah, that right there, that doesn't feel quite right to me. It feels like not a thing you would normally do, but it's, it's part of the walkthrough Lincoln Workshop post, so you know. Here's their solution approved by the creator. If not made by the creator themselves. So right there is pretty weird. Anyways, what was it we needed to do next? I think... Uh, no. First, we want, we want to straighten this cube next. Straighten it so it points to that node over there. Oh, I didn't, I didn't point it out this time, but there are two nodes we need to open the exit. That one, that wall one and this floor one, and the oh, exit right there on the floor. I tried for a while on the failed recording, just like do the, like to flip, flop the cube back and forth, try to glitch the door open, the kind of like triple laser. It didn't really work though. There was that. And you point the laser through here. Use these portal surfaces. But as I said before, the, the, these really need like placement helpers because placing portals on them right now, right now it is kind of obnoxious. Because you will power this node, opens this fizzler. And after that, you turn this cube around, power this, you step into this closet right here. There's a cube button on the floor, and there's a laser in the ceiling. So now you move the far portal underneath this cube, the cube in that room, then you move the portal here. There you move, you take the cube in here, point it through the portal. Oh, so right now that first laser is powering the node in there. You move the, your portal here to power the other node. And yeah. Then the map because it enters you inside of a pit. It's kind of a shame I had to trash my original take there because I forgot to turn the mic on. Like I can't do post commentary with it for these. I don't think it would work really. So you know I just you know, presenting the face value. I'll be totally honest. This third map I got stuck on, so I had to look at the walkthrough. There you go. So I'll cut it off right there. Next time, I won't have a mess up with my mic. So until then, my name is Zachary Ganol, Social Sketching Creations, and I will see you then. Thanks for wa watching. Uh -huh.